Do you know how hard it is to convince someone, a doctor especially, that you're not overeating when you look like this? This was me. Okay, so picture me looking like this, standing in front of you, telling you I'm not overeating. Do you believe me? Well, it took two years before I could find a doctor to listen to me and believe me. He was an endocrinologist. He discovered I had Cushing's disease with pituitary tumor. The tumor secretes cortisol into my body and that's what made me fat. Going through this, I have learned that laughter is the best medicine. So I wrote my own prescription. I call it me, myself, and I. Oh, and this is a true story. My son Ryan came home for a visit. He was all excited. He'd met someone. What's her name, I ask? I, I want to bring her home to meet the family. What's her name? I told you. Well, tell me again. I, we thought maybe next weekend would be good. Great, but what's her name? I told you already. No, you didn't. If you told me, I'd remember. This will be the third time I've told you. I'm only going to tell you this one last time. Are you ready? Yeah. I. I what? Martin. Her name is Martin? That's her last name. Her first name is I. Her name is I? How do you spell that? Like in, for example, Oh, I-E. No, O. Oh. Why would parents name their child I? They wanted their first child to have their initials. They wanted to start a tradition. Don't tell me my first grandchild could be I-R or R-I. <laughs> oh, I can just hear the other kids asking, I-R what? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't call my grandchildren in for dinner shouting R-I. It sounds like a samurai warrior battle cry. You wouldn't do that to your child, would you? Ryan just smiled. Over the years, you'd think it would get easier, but it doesn't. Like the day my husband and I were out golfing and just came home. My son Mike was in the kitchen at the computer, busy typing, chatting online to five of his friends when we walked in. Did you get my message, Mike asks. No, what was it? I called. So what did you want? <laughs> How should I know? He was busy chatting, paying no attention to us, and I say, but you called. Yeah, to tell you I called. Then what did you want? I hear his loud sigh and watch his back slump in the chair. His hands fall from the keyboard. He turns his head, looks at me, rolls his eyes, and says, Ma, I'm trying to tell you that Ryan's girlfriend, I, called for you. Oh, 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 she's never called before. Maybe something's happened to Ryan. I call Ryan's cell phone and get his voicemail. Rattled, I blurt out, I called, call me back. Within minutes, Ryan calls. What's up, he asks. What did I want? How should I know? You called me. <laughs> I called. I know, I got your message. No, I called. I know, what do you want? I don't want anything. I want to know what I wanted. If you don't know, how can I tell you? <laughs>